Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I will be discussing about the Gauss elimination method with the concept of partial pivoting to solve the given system of equation. Previously, I have made a video about the Gauss elimination method in which we have converted the matrix form of the given system of equation into the upper triangular matrix and then after solving it we have got the value of x y and z and here by this method what we will be doing is we will select one of the equation out of these three equation which have higher coefficient of x then the coefficient of x which is higher will be our first pivot and the equation containing the higher value of x will be called as pivotal equation. Students, as you can see in the given uh, system of equation, the highest coefficient of x is 5. So, our first pi pi pivot is going to be 5 and the first pivotal equation is going to be this equation. So, what we need to do is we have to interchange this equation with the other equations so that we can eliminate the variable x from the remaining equation using the first equation or our first pivotal equation. So let's see how the solution is done and these step which I mentioned right now is known as Gauss elimination method by partial pivoting. So now let's see the solution of this equation. As I have told you that we need to select the first equation uh, which have highest higher coefficient of x. So the second equation has higher coefficient. So this is going to be our first pivotal equation. So write it down here. Solution interchange this second equation with first equation then we will have 5x plus y plus 3z is equal to 14 2x minus 7y minus 10z is equal to minus 17 and x plus 10y plus 9z is equal to 7 this is our equation 1 which is first pivotal equation and this is second pivotal equation and this is third pivotal equation now let's move toward the second step now what we need to do is we have to eliminate uh, x from these equation 2 and equation 3 by using equation 1 so write it down here eliminating x from equation 2 and equation 3 using equation 1 now we have to eliminate x from equation 2 and 3 using equation 1 so we will do this separately so write the equation 1 here we have 5x plus y plus 3z is equal to 14 and 2x minus 7y minus 10z is equal to minus 17 now for eliminating x from equation first and equation second from this second equation what we need to do is we have we can eliminate x if we will have this equal value here then for making the value equal what we need to do is multiply this 2x by 5 then it will become 10 and multiply this 5x by 2 while multiplying we will multiply this whole equation by 2 and this whole equation by 5 so on multiplying what we will get is 10x plus 2y 
प्लस सिक्स जेड इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट एंड टेन एक्स माइनस थर्टी फाइव वाई माइनस फिफ्टी जेड इज इक्वल टू माइनस एट्टी फाइव नाउ सब ट्रैक्ट दिज इक्वेशन यू विल गेट प्लस 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 माइनस यू हैव इलिमिनेटेड एक्स फ्रॉम हेयर एंड ऑन सॉल्विंग यू विल गेट थर्टी सेवन वाई प्लस फिफ्टी सिक्स जेड इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड थर्टीन एंड दिस इज आवर इक्वेशन फोर नाउ अगेन हेयर वाट वी नीड टू डू इज वी हैव टू इलिमिनेट एक्स फ्रॉम इक्वेशन थ्री यूजिंग इक्वेशन वन देन हाउ कैन वी डू दिस we need to multiply this equation by 5 so that our first term will become 5x and multiply this second equ first equation by 1 then on multiplying this we will get we will get 5x plus y plus 3z is equal to 14 and again this second equation will be multiplied by 5 so here it will become 5x plus 50y plus 45z is equal to 35 now again multiply apply subtraction here then this x is eliminated and we will get now here on multi on solving on subtracting these two equation we have got minus 49y minus 42z is equal to minus 21 which we which is our equation 5 now what we need to do is uh, we have to again select the pi second pivotal equation which will have highest coefficient of y here the coefficient of y is minus 49 and in this equation 4 the coefficient of y is 37 so 37 ha is highest so this is going to be our second pivotal equation which uh, and using this equation we will to we will need to eliminate y from this equation 5 so let's see how the solution is done now here i have written our equation 4 and equation 5 now this is our second pivotal equation after x so uh, we, we after we, for eliminating y from here what we need to do is we have to multiply this term by 37 and this this equation by this equation by 37 and this equation by 49 so that our first term containing the variable y or the coefficient or the pivot of uh, variable y will be equal and then uh, applying addition or subtraction we will get this term zero and we after that we will simply find the value of z and after substituting the value of z in the given equations we will get the value of x and y so on multiplying we will get 1813 y plus 2744 z is equal to 5537 and here this will become 1813 y minus minus 100 1554 z is equal to minus seven hundred seventy seven so now applying the addition here this term becomes zero and solving this you will have one hundred eleven one eleven hundred ninety z is equal to forty seven hundred sixty from here you will get z is equal to four now put the value of z in the equations like our first equation was 2x or oh sorry after getting the value of z put the value of z in equation 4 which is 37y plus 56z is equal to 113 this equation becomes 37y plus 56 into 4 is equal to 113 from here you will get y is equal to minus 
again after getting the value of y and z and putting it in equation 2x minus 7y minus 10z is equal to minus 17 here after putting the value here you will get x is equal to 1 and we have got the solution x is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 3 and z is equal to 4 and thanks for watching this video i hope uh, this video is going to be helpful to all of you do like and subscribe my channel and for uh, getting the new video do subscribe thank you have a nice day